Kai, thanks for doing this. You're welcome. Um, that's no worries. Um, all right, so question one, what is your name? How old are you? And what do you do as a job? I am, my name is Sean. I work for a civil construction company doing their traffic management and health and safety uh, components of the tasks that we do. Yep. Um, and I'm 44 years of age. All right, what is your role and responsibilities in your job on a day-to-day -day basis? So I set up the traffic management so that guys can work on the roads. Uh, I'm also involved in maintaining our health and safety systems um, because obviously everyone wants to go home from work alive and well, yep. so, so we maintain that. And uh, I'm also involved in doing a lot of training. So right. I, I work with the younger blokes that come through and make sure that they understand a lot of our systems. And, and Yeah, so are you the guy that puts all the cones out on the road? Sometimes. Yeah, okay. yeah. I, well, I've sort of I've moved up a bit now, so now I've got guys that do that for me. Oh, cool. Um, but, do you design? Do you, sure des they... do you decide where the cones go? Uh, the work, the work pretty much dictates where the where the cones go. So, if if we are working in a in a particular area, then those cones have to go there. But they're all regulated by regulation, big rose regulations, and that's. Oh, stuff. okay. All right, how long have you been in your current job? I've been doing this job, I've been working for this company for nine years. Right. And this is, I know, this is my first civil construction company that I've worked for. Yeah. Right. Is this your first job? And if not, what did you do before and why did you change? Uh, this is not not, this is not my first job. Um, I first started out as a chef. And that was good fun. That was really good fun, but it's not really for old blokes like me. <laughs> uh, and then from there, I went to a builder um, and worked as a builder for four or five years. And that was really great fun. Um, then I was a truck driver and that was, that was really cool fun too. And then I started with Miller's, yeah, cool. civil construction. All right, so why did you change? What made you change all those jobs? Because you've done a, a range of things. What was, was it just like, like from job to job, what's the general reason why you changed your jobs? Um, well, when I changed from chef to building, it was basically the hours. I had two young kids and it just didn't really suit my lifestyle at the time. Yeah. When I changed from being a builder to a truck driver, it was the manual labour. It was it was pretty hard back. I mean, my body was sort of starting, you know, I mean, I was 30 something then. And, you know, I mean, I treated my body like an amusement park for quite some time. So it was sort of falling a bit. So the manual labour was a bit tragic. And then the truck driver just to move into civil construction was just a natural progression. Yeah. For the truck driver. I originally started with the civil construction place as a water cart operator. Um, come truck driver thing, and I've just sort of progressed into into this traffic role that I'm in now. Yep, cool. Yeah. All right, what subjects did you do at high school and why did you choose them? And do did they link to what you wanted to do when you finished high school? No, no. I did a lot of um, uh, English, maths, literature, um, science, a few science subjects, although that was a long time ago where, where the high school I was at didn't really have um, designated like chemistry and bio and all that sort of stuff that you hear the kids talk about now. We just did a general science thing, you know. A um, bit of home ec, I suppose, but that was really just because I liked the food. But I didn't really know I was going to be a chef. Yep. Till I got the job. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Did you have to do any extra study once you left school to get your job or jobs? Um, and what did they link? Oh, sorry. What did you do? So uh, probably we'll, we'll talk about moving into the civil construction then because that, um, like I say, that was only nine years ago. So to get that one, I've had to go get a truck license 
uh, a few other machine licenses, which I did off my own bat. But whilst working for the company, Dave had paid for my traffic management ticket, um, you know, a few other like a few other licenses that allow me to spot for uh, um, companies' assets in the ground and overhead and all that sort of stuff. So it's sort of they they've paid for a few licenses that I've had to achieve. The one that I did have to pay for for myself was a health and safety certificate for, which allowed me then to, to step up to the more training role. Yeah, yep. so I, I have um, I have furthered my education, but only as the job, as I've wanted to move job, I've just sort of looked further into the education side of things. Yep. Um, Does do you that have to help? Do, yeah, that's good. Do you have to do refresher courses? So you talked about how you had to do courses and truck driving licensings and stuff. Do you have to do refresher ones as you go? Uh, in the in the truck driving with with a truck driver's license, no, you don't. But the the bigger truck that you want to drive has a separate license. So you start with a rigid, and then you go with a semi or what do they call it? Um, heavy combination and then there's yep. a B double which is a multi combination so if you want to drive that truck then you have to have that license yeah um, with the traffic management and the VSPN um, sort of asset you know spotters course and and that sort of stuff yes I do have to do a refresher course and they do that uh, best practice is uh, every three years we have to right. sit that reset that course yeah Okay, and if yep. you didn't reset that course, would that affect your uh, ability to do your job? Like, would the company say, sorry, you can't do your job anymore, you haven't done it? Uh, it's a very real possibility because um, obviously, if, so the reason we get licensed is so that when things go, so that we know what to do uh, whilst doing the job. Yeah. So if you're if you haven't done a refresher course, then there's a possibility it could be looked at that you weren't really clear about what the job was. So the company to protect itself legally uh, could say, no, you're not allowed in that trench or you're not allowed out on that road or you're not allowed in that confined space until such time as you've done a refresher course. That, yep. that sort of more is more a um, protection Thing that yeah. the comp that my company used to to keep themselves current yeah. and safe. Cool. All right, now you can just give us a ballpoint, um, you know, if you want. But how much do you earn? So my base wage is about sixty two thousand, um, but I earn a lot more of that because I work a lot more hours. So I get penalty rates and overtime and and that right. sort of stuff. Yeah. Yep. So probably in a, in a normal year, I probably earn somewhere in the vicinity of about 90,000, 90 to 100. That's a big difference. All right. Is there high employment opportunities in your field? Yes. Yes, definitely. The, the, the country is moving. We are, we are building everything. You know, look, roads need to be done. We're building infrastructure everywhere. Yep. There's mining in Western Australia. It's all connected. It's yep. all the same. All right, how did you get your job? Where did you look? Uh, so I was driving a Pepsi truck delivering soft drink, which was an okay job. And then I decided that I probably needed to drive bigger trucks. So I got a uh, heavy combination license and then just I just went into the local civil, the local Miller's place here and um, dropped in my resume and the boss rang me pretty much straight away. So it was, it's sort of... Um, you know, like I just went in there, just made it, made a presence. Yep, cool. Yep. Did you know anyone there? Because you've mentioned you're from the country, so was it a like was it a someone vouched for you, or like did you know anyone working at the company? Not really. No, I I, I did know a lot of people there, um, but they didn't know that I was going for a job there. I hadn't sort of mentioned to anyone. I just sort of dropped in a resume yep. off on the off chance. So it was sort okay. of more. Um, Supply and demand, I suppose. They, they yeah. needed a, a, a truck driver. So and they, you just happened to do it. Me. All right. What yeah. is hard about your job? Uh, the public, the traffic. Yeah, keeping people safe on, yeah. the, on the roads. Because um, if you don't set up your traffic management plan 
so that it's completely idiot proof, then the idiots will get in. Yep. They just will. Yep. And, and, you know, it, and it is confusing for the public. You know, it's not, it's not the normal. So it's, that, that is confusing. So you have to, you have to really be very, very careful because you get hit by a car. It's, it's tragedy. Yeah, exactly. Could be, uh, could be. What do you like about your job? Oh, everything. It's unreal. Driving machines is unreal. Like, it's like, you know, when you were a little kid and you, your mum bought you an ice cream or something, that, oh, it's unreal. And, it, you know, you, buy, <laughs> you drive dump trucks that are just huge. Yeah. They're wicked. Wicked yeah. fun. It's great fun. It's great fun. Cool. And the blokes are good too. Yeah. Blokes are good. Yeah. Cool. All right. What traits would someone have to have to be in your job? You have to be pretty hardworking. You have to be pretty tolerant. Um, you have to be pretty flexible. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say those those are the traits. D determination is another one too. You have okay. to sort of stick at it. Yeah. There are a lot. There are lots of blokes that come and go. Yeah. You know, we we take on we take on new casuals every season, and out of those, you know, you might take on ten casuals through the year, and you might keep two. Oh. Because the, the, the blokes just don't, you know, they just don't like it or or they don't think they're getting enough chance or whatever the reason is. Um, yeah. Some are some are just unsuitable. Yeah. Uh, you have you have to let those go. But yeah. um, most most people get a get a crack at it. Cool. Yeah. It's really right. up to you. Yeah. So you touched on this before. Um, but where can the job take you in regards to like traveling and higher positions? So you touched on the traveling, how it's all connected Australia wide, but um, oh, worldwide, worldwide, worldwide. So where yeah. can a job take you? Anywhere, anywhere. We've got. I've had a bloke, uh, bloke that's just left me recently. He's gone to a mine in the Congo. Congo. You know, like he's gone to work. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. In South America. Yeah. Well, South Africa, wherever the hell the Congo is, and um, he's going to work underground. You know, wow. he's going to earn four thousand dollars a week. You know, so I mean, it, it's, it's not nothing's impossible. It's, yeah, it's done everywhere. And what about yeah. like, and there's no. What are you going to say? Yeah, it's, it's all the same. So if you can drive a grader, you might be driving a grader to build a road, or you might be driving a grader to dig out a mine. You know, it's all, the principles are the same. Yeah. Principles are the same. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. And what about higher positions for you in relation to where can it take you within the company? Uh, yeah. So, I've, I've, as I mentioned, I started um, just as a truck driver. And now I'm sort of leaning more into training the blokes. And, and um, so that's a sort of semi-management position. There's a possibility I'll go to a supervisor if I'd like to, um, you know, can run contracts and that sort of stuff. It's it's there's a, it, 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 it's really down to you. It's your determination and how much you want to take on. Yep. Well, certainly within my company anyway. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. And if, if, if and if if I don't get the opportunity at my company that I wanted to be a supervisor, I could just look elsewhere for a supervisor's position. It's all yep. on LinkedIn. It's all over the world. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for taking the time to do it. We appreciate you answering our questions. Um, is there any advice you give our students? Don't be frightened. Have a crack at it. If you yep. if you think that driving machines is your thing, and let me tell you that it's great fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, have a crack at it. Go and yep. see the local bloke. Go go talk to somebody. I mean, the, the, you know, down in in Melbourne, certainly there's. You know, there's roadworks everywhere. Yeah. And outside of Melbourne, there's mines and all. You know, it, it's everywhere. So yeah. just get involved. Cool. Get involved. My, oh, the other thing too is, I oh, probably should have mentioned this, the qualifications. It's a good idea. Well, it's essential really that you get a white card. Right. A white card allows you onto any construction site within Australia. You yeah. can't enter this. You can't work on a construction site anywhere in Australia without a white card. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for that. Most welcome. Thank See you. Ya.